how's it going everybody? Tis I, Chef Darwin. Today, peanut butter cookies. So let's start with our mise en place. What do we got here? Get out all your tools, starting with one cup of creamy peanut butter. You could use chunky, but that ain't me, man. I like the creamy stuff. So one cup of creamy butter, peanut butter, a teaspoon of vanilla, this is from the islands, so it's good stuff. One farm fresh egg, room temperature. Doesn't have to be, but I prefer to work with it that way. One cup of granulated sugar. It's easy. One, one, and one. You'll need a rubber spatula, a whisk. You can do this with a whisk, but I'm going to use my stand mixer because that's what it's for. A teaspoon measuring device. Okay, so first of all, cup sugar down into the mixer. Whatever mixer you're using, whether you're using a hand mixer or a whisk, it doesn't matter. And then the egg. Make sure not to get any shells in there because shells are just not tasty, if you know what I'm saying. And I think that you do. One teaspoon. Yeah, you couldn't see that earlier, could you? You didn't know what I was showing you there. Well. One teaspoon of your best vanilla. And if you get a little extra in there, well, so be it. The vanilla is not a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? I think you do. Again. Attach your whisk, because what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to cream together the sugar, the egg, and the vanilla. And you want to do this until you get a very smooth consistency. As you can see down in that bowl, it is uh, it's creamy, it's smooth, it's ready to rock and roll. Scrape down the side of your bowl. You will see here shortly that this rubber spatula is a multitasker. I'm going to have to move the whisk out of this bowl because it's not only is it in the way when you try to add the peanut butter, but also as a... Uh, device to get the remaining peanut butter off of the spatula. The spatula is good for getting the peanut butter out of the cup, but then it sticks to the spatula. Peanut butter by nature is just a very sticky ingredient. Tasty, but sticky. So yeah, make sure you get every last bit of peanut butter. And you do want to measure this carefully because uh, again, you are baking and usually when you bake, you have to be on the money with your ingredients. And this recipe is no exception. The only thing that could vary a little bit is the egg, just because I don't believe that eggs are perfectly volumized. So, you mix your peanut butter, it will become crumbly, kind of. It's, it's an interesting texture. And then you'll want to, again, scrape it, scrape down the bowl, to, uh, get all of that tasty goodness fork has come into play. Look at that a fork. The second most important tool there is. Third most, sorry. A whisk is second. Knife is first. Of course, after your hands. So don't be afraid to get your hands in there. Get all that dough mushed together. You're going to want to work it together until it becomes very smooth. It's a very soft dough. So don't worry about that. And it is very moist. Now what I have here is just a standard cookie sheet. And I am for the first time trying out the silicon baking mat. That's what's in that pan. Makes for wonderful clean up on pans and nothing is supposed to stick to it. Although this being my first time, I won't know until the baking is done. It'll be interesting. Anyway, grab uh, about a tablespoon, form it into a ball, and place thusly on said baking sheet. Now you can make your fork indentations in any directions you want. I like the cross hatch pattern, and it will stick, so be careful. And that's how you press out a peanut butter cookie. And go back and get, uh, try to keep them as evenly sized as possible. I had thoughts of using an ice cream scooper for this, but oof, why dirty up another tool? Anyway, keep rolling them out and keep pressing them down. 
don't really have to keep them very far apart because they won't spread much. They will pretty much stay the way that you press them. Because uh, there's nothing in there to spread out, really. Okay, ready for some baking time. So these beauties are headed to the oven. Aren't they pretty? Oh, yeah. Those peanut butter cookies. They're awesome. So in they go to a 350 degree oven for exactly, and I mean exactly, 10 minutes. No longer, no shorter. If this baking time varies, uh, 9 minutes, they'll be way underdone. 11 minutes, they will turn out hard as rocks. So there you see the finished baking cookies. They must rest five to ten minutes before you even attempt to transfer them to that plate, that uh, cooling rack. But then you'll want to move them over to the cooling rack so they cool thoroughly and become nice and crisp. A little bit moist in the middle, but crisp on the edges. Just delicious. So, how'd they turn out? Let's find out, shall we? Yummy! They are delicious and so simple, people. You gotta try this at home. You just gotta. <laughs> that one's mine. Yes, that's the one I'm trying. There you have it. Peanut butter cookie cookies in 15 minutes. I am Chef Darwin. Thanks for watching Cooking Up. Bye-bye.